When the sun is at its zenith during midday, we are bathed in a dazzlingly bright light. The more hours that pass, the weaker the light conditions become before night finally arrives with its pitch black darkness. But why does space appear to us as such a gloomy entity during the night hours? In view of the thousands and thousands of cosmic light sources that adorn the firmament, the question quickly arises whether the night sky should not actually be radiantly bright. In the following video, you'll find out why the nightly view of the stars is accompanied above all by a penetrating darkness and why the universe appears apparently dark to us. Want to accompany us on our journey to the largest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and activate the bell to never miss one of our videos again. If you like our excursions into the gigantic expanses of space, feel free to give us a thumbs up. The Olber's Paradox It's well known that our blue home planet needs 24 hours to rotate once around its own axis. Due to this natural characteristic, it appears to us on Earth as if the sun moves across the sky during the day. Once the sun has disappeared over the horizon, we are deprived of our natural source of light. All we see in the sky during the night is a pitch black firmament that, despite its countless sparkling formations, is incapable of bathing our planet in a bright light. Let's assume that the universe is infinitely large and has a uniform distribution of stars. Wouldn't the night sky then also have to shine as brightly as our sun? After all, in our home galaxy alone, the Milky Way, there are estimated to be up to 400 billion of these brightly shining celestial bodies. The German astronomer Johann Kepler became suspicious about this very topic. In the early 17th century, the scientists saw in the nocturnal darkness clear evidence that the universe cannot be infinite. This great cosmic enigma was to keep the scientific community spellbound in the decades that followed. The explanations Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers brought into the field concerning this topic became known afterwards as the Olbers Paradox. It refers to world models that follow a perfect cosmological principle. Those basic assumptions of scientific cosmology are based on the fact that the universe has a homogeneous and isotropic character. In simple terms, this means that the universe always appears the same to the observer, independent of his own point of view and direction of observation. In the galactic context, this means that an infinitely extended universe must have a uniform distribution of stars, even over large distances. Under these superordinate conditions, the light of every star, no matter from which direction, would have to hit the Earth sooner or later. Consequently, the night sky would have to be as bright as the surface of a star. A nightly view to the firmament proves us, however, that this is obviously not the case. Why is space dark? Within his research, Olbers finally came to the assumption that the gases between stars absorb the emitted light. In this way, the light paradox in space could also be reconciled with the theory of an infinitely large universe. However, as we know today, the astronomer made a big mistake. If starlight shone on the gas, it would heat up so that it would finally begin to shine brightly itself. In truth, many star researchers in the past were firmly convinced that the Milky Way would be a kind of island universe. According to this, there would be nothing but an infinite void outside our galactic home. It took until the beginning of the 20th century before this widespread basic assumption was falsified. At that time, experts recognized that the alleged nebulae, in other words, the faintly glowing formations in the firmament, were not gas clouds but distant galaxies, which in turn were also home to billions of stars. The space outside of our native bar spiral galaxy is not by any means empty. Consequently, there must also be an answer to the question why the universe appears so dark to us in the nocturnal hours. Contrary to the original assumption, the distribution of stars within space is not uniform. Specifically, the sparkling celestial bodies accumulate in galaxies, which in turn form large clusters of galaxies. Applied to large distances, however, the basic cosmological principle remains. As soon as our view wanders to the firmament, we are always seeing the surface of some star in an infinite cosmos. However, we should keep in mind that the average distance between our blue home planet and the glistening bright celestial bodies is simply gigantic. This galactic average value is quantified with 10 to the 23rd power or 100 trillion light years. Remember, the measure of a light year describes that distance which light covers in a vacuum during
during one year. While the light beams cover 180,000 miles within a single second, they bridge a fabulous distance of almost 6 trillion miles in one year. This in turn leads to the reverse conclusion that the light of an average star needs 10 to the 23rd power years to reach our blue home planet. The problem, until now, the emitted starlight simply has not had enough time to cover this enormous distance. Today, experts agree that the universe was formed about 13.8 billion years ago. That area of the universe, which we can survey, is thus much too small to create a radiating bright firmament. Invisible Light Particles Does this mean then that terrestrial night will be accompanied by a dazzling brightness sometime in the distant future? This is not the case. By the time we reach that galactic point in time, at which we could survey a sufficiently large part of the cosmos, the stars in the universe would have gone out long ago. For just as in the case of all the other celestial bodies that grace space, stars are finite entities. In fact, the nuclear reaction of the sparkling objects lasts only for a relatively short time. Strictly speaking, the night sky is not as dark as it appears to our earthly gaze, at least not in all spectral ranges. In reality, the Earth is hit from all directions by a uniform, weak radiation. These rays have their maximum at a wavelength of about four hundredths of an inch, or one millimeter, so they fall into the microwave range. This background radiation represents a remnant of the Big Bang, a phenomenon that can be proven today and which is significant to current research. About 380,000 years after the birth of the universe, the temperature in the universe sank to about 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Thus, electrons and protons were able to form stable hydrogen atoms. In other words, the cosmos became permeable to electromagnetic radiation at that time. Those light particles that were released at that time still present themselves to us today in the form of the cosmic microwave background radiation. As a result of the continuing expansion of the universe, however, this primeval radiation lost a large part of its original power. Today, the cosmic background radiation has only one billionth of its former intensity. Originally, the universe was brightly illuminated by the influence of the background radiation. However, since the wavelength of this galactic relic has shifted from the visible spectrum to the microwave range over the course of millions of years, we can no longer detect the cosmic background radiation with our human eyes today. A Limited View in fact, we humans are only capable of perceiving a fraction of the existing light spectrum. If we were allowed to perceive the infrared and microwave range, the universe would appear to us in a completely different shape. Basically, experts are convinced that the baryonic matter visible to us is only a very small percentage of the total matter in the universe. In essence, this proportion is estimated at just 4.9%. In addition, in the most current models, 68.3% of dark energy and 26.8% of dark matter are present. Although the existence of both dark energy and dark matter has not yet been experimentally proven, researchers are certain that they play an overriding role within galactic constellations and processes. Thus, hypothetical dark energy can explain the unexpectedly accelerated expansion of the universe. With the help of dark matter, in turn, the movements of visible matter can be classified. However, the still rapid expansion of the universe not only leads to a reduced radiance of the cosmic background radiation, but also to another circumstance, which contributes to the fact that the night sky appears deep black to us. As already mentioned, the Big Bang happened about 13.8 billion years ago. Since this event, within which matter, space, and time originated from an original singularity, the universe began to expand. This expansion process has persisted to the present day. In simple terms, this means that all structures in the universe move further and further away from their original point. This also means that the distance that gapes between the individual cosmic structures constantly increases. Accordingly, this also includes the countless stars. Since these natural sources of light in the universe move thus ever further away and literally scatter, the pitch black areas that lie between these accumulations of celestial bodies also become ever more enormous. We're interested in your opinion. Let us know what you think. Give us your suggestions and your feedback in the comments. Finally, take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.